As a company, in the month of February, we are focusing all about recruiting. So I'm back in my home gym because that's where you put in the work, right? To talk to you guys about recruiting and your why posh. Before you can start inviting somebody into this business, we need to know why we do it for ourselves, right? Hey everybody, I'm Jessica Perrier, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of poshpreneurs, and today we're talking about why you do what you do. Before we can recruit anyone to join us on this journey, we have to know why we're on it ourselves. Before it's time to make lists, make your pink packets, you need to know your why. Why is it worth it? Why is posh what you want to succeed at? Why do you deserve success? Success is hard with the end is line. <laughs> okay, I want you to write this down on a piece of paper. I deserve success because blank. I want you to fill in that blank and hang it up. Hang it up somewhere you're going to see it every single day. I want you to see it. And if you're comfortable sharing it, share it with your team. You guys, sharing your why sometimes isn't the easiest, but it's 100% worth it. Okay, Jessica, I'm ready to share my why, but how do I get started? When you open it up, you're going to talk about how you found Posh. The next thing you want to talk about is what made Posh stand out for you or what was different about Posh for you. Nextly, you're going to talk about why you're still here. Whether you joined three days ago or three years ago, talk about what has made a difference in your life. Maybe it's the money, maybe it's because you love traveling, maybe it's because you've met some of your best friends, maybe you love helping other people launch a business. Whatever it is for you, write it down. Lastly, what has it done for you? Has it paid for dance lessons? Has it allowed you to travel the country? Has it brought your best friends in life to you? Illustrate exactly what Posh has done for you already in your life. Please note, your why can totally evolve. I know mine has evolved quite a bit over the last four years. Now, after you've written it down, consider recording a video. Keep your video short, two to four minutes. Think about talking to your mom or to your best friend when you're talking about your why. You want it to be relatable and you want people to want to hear your story. Now I've pre-recorded it for YouTube, but my personal Posh why is that Posh gave me my own identity back. I found Posh about four years ago. I was just dusting myself off from one of the toughest experiences in my life, where even after a ton of successes, I felt totally defeated and I had given up on all of my career goals and aspirations and kind of settled for a life of mediocrity, or what I felt was mediocrity. When I joined, I joined as a total kidnapper and only gave the business a go at the beginning to earn my quick start rewards, because hi, I love free. Thankfully, that was just the taste I needed to get back into business. I've always loved business, and I've always had a wild entrepreneurial streak that I inherited from my mother, that was a Mary Kay lady, and my car salesman grandfather. <laughs> Within three months, my business had reminded me what I was passionate about and what makes me happy and it continues to do so every single day. It also gave me a platform to inspire others, something I never thought that I would really be able to do again. I love that I have such a positive influence on so many, and I make a difference in other people's lives every single day. I empower women, and that is just incredible to me. Plus, I have so much fun mentoring and encouraging my workers that want it for themselves. I feel like I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And that's why I posh. So I would encourage you to dig deep into your own story. Put some thought into it. Like I said, my Posh Why has evolved. When I first started Posh, I felt like I had something to prove. Well, that's not true. When I first started Posh, I wasn't interested in the business at all. But when I started to decide to go after the business, it was about having something to prove, right? And then it was about being fun. And then it was about making a difference. And now I feel like I'm building a legacy. My posh why has absolutely evolved and will continue to do so. And so will yours. But I'll tell you, in order to get from here to wherever, whether you want to be a pink, a premier, a platinum premier, you've absolutely got to be in touch with your why. If we don't know why we're doing this, we won't make it through the tough days. And the tough days are few and far between, but there are some tough days. So know your posh why. I hope this helps you guys crafting your why. If you have any questions whatsoever, reach out to me. I hope you have a great day.